Hi and welcome. This tutorial shows how to create an orchestration for system administration in the JD Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator Studio. The JD Edwards Enterprise One Server Manager is REST enabled to perform various provisioning, monitoring, and management activities. REST enablement in Server Manager exposes these functionalities as REST services. An open API connection lists all the REST services that can be performed on the server manager. The JD Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator Studio can be used for the JD Edwards system administration so that the system administrators can call the server manager REST services from the Orchestrator Studio to automate the common administrative tasks. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will create a start instance and health check orchestration. This orchestration will retrieve the status of an instance, check if the instance of the server is running, and if not, start the instance, perform a health check for that instance, and send a message with the health check report. If an instance of the server is already running, it sends a message to inform that the instance is running. Because this orchestration is complex, before we get started, let's preview what this start instance and health check orchestration will look like when it is completed. As you can see here, the orchestration includes a connector service request to retrieve the state of the instance, a rule to evaluate if an instance is running, if so, a message to inform that the instance is running, a connector service request to start the instance of the server, a connector service request to run a health check for the instance that is running, and a message to send the health check report. As the first step, let's create an open API connection and a connector service request that uses the open API connection. You can create an open API connection by navigating to tools and then selecting connections. Give a name and description for the connection. Then select open API as a type of connection. Enter the user authorized to access the connection and then the environment where the connections reside. On the Servers Information tab, in the Endpoint field, enter the URL for accessing the OpenAPI documentation through which you can access the Server Manager REST services. On the Security tab, enter the credentials for accessing the Server Manager console. Select the authentication type as basic authorization. Enter the user and password credentials and then save the connection. Now, let's create a connector service request to retrieve the state of an instance. You can create a service request by navigating to the Orchestrator Studio page and accessing the service request page. And then open the connector design page to create a new connector service request. Let's give the service request a name and provide a short description. Then assign it with the product code. We are using the connection that we just created for this service request. As we want to retrieve the state of an instance, select the REST service call as instance state and the HTTP method as GET. Notice that the API description and API summary fields are displayed with the values for the selected API. Because we are using an open API connection, the pathing and parameter sections are automatically filled with the appropriate values. Save the service request and close the page. Similarly, each of the other components have already been created. Now, we need to add them as steps in the orchestration. To create this orchestration, on the Orchestration Studio page, access the orchestration page. And then, we will open the design page to create a new orchestration. Let's give the orchestration a name and provide a short description of the purpose of the orchestration. Then assign it with the product code. Now we will add the steps or the components for the orchestration to perform the desired task. As we saw earlier, the task includes adding three connector service requests, two messages and a rule. For the first step, we need to retrieve the state of the instance. So we'll add the demo instance state connector service request. We can select it from this drop-down list. 
Next, we'll add demo check instance state rule, which is designed to evaluate the data retrieved from the preceding service request to determine if the instance of the server is running. Because a rule determines if the orchestration performs the next step, notice that a placeholder is automatically added for the next step. Before we define the step, let's add true to the action column for the step. If the condition in the preceding rule is met or is true, then the orchestration will execute this step. Next, add a message service request to receive a mail informing that a given instance of the server is already running. Now let's add the steps if the condition in the rule is not met or is false. We need to add the start instance connector service request to start the instance of the server. The next step is to add the demo health check summary service request to perform a health check on the instance of the server that is running. As a last step, add a message service request to receive the health check report. Next, we need to define an input for the orchestration. This orchestration requires an input to receive the instance name. To pass data between the orchestration steps, we need to map the inputs. This step enables you to map the values returned from one orchestration step to a subsequent step in the orchestration. First, let's select the demo instance state step. Notice that the transformations area displays the input to this orchestration step. From the available values drop down list, select instance name. This step maps the instance name, which is the input for this orchestration, to this orchestration step. In the next step, we will map the inputs for the demo check instance state rule. We will map the instance state value to the rule input. The instance name is the variable defined in the preceding service request to represent the value that is returned to the orchestration. The rule uses this value to determine whether the instance is running or not. Next, we will need to map the input for the message. Again, we will need to map the instance name input from the orchestration to this orchestration step. Remember, if the condition in the preceding rule is met or is true, then the orchestration will invoke this message. If the condition is not met, then the orchestration will invoke the start instance service request. Now map the input for the service request. Here also, we will need to map the instance name input from the orchestration to the orchestration step. In the same way, map the input for the health check summary service request. Last, we will need to map the input for the health check message. We again map the instance name from the input to this orchestration step. Now we can save the orchestration. If we exit the orchestration design page, we can view a graphical representation of the orchestration which shows the orchestration components and all the components that make up the orchestration as we previewed earlier. Now let's use the orchestration client to test this orchestration. After signing in, let's locate the start instance and health check orchestration. The input defined in orchestration appears in the input area. For the purpose of this demonstration, in the Enterprise One Server Manager, the instance of test underscore jazz server has been stopped. So, when we perform a test, the orchestration should start the instance, run a health check, and send the health check report. The input and output areas display the JSON code or the orchestration request and response. Also, I have received a mail with the details of the health check report. Now, let's perform one final check to confirm that the instance is running. In the Server Manager console, you can see that the instance is now running. We have successfully created an orchestration in the Orchestrator Studio and successfully tested it in the Orchestrator Client. To learn more about orchestration for system administration, see the Orchestrator Guide or visit us online at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.